And just like that, we got another code. Uh, what was it? 3556 FMI 18. It's supposed to have to do something with the dozer or your uh, DOC temp sensors. It's gonna be one of those two. Or it could be a bad one box. Nobody knows. <laughs> and now I gotta come in and mess around with this doggone dozer when I'm supposed to be sleeping. So, these guys over here, I feel bad for them. He's not from here, he's from California. And he's gotta stay out here in this cold, man. Oh boy, oh boy. On the bright side, we got a full moon. And it's nice and pretty out. And the guy that's supposed to be cleaning the streets, he's not gonna be able to clean the streets because we're all parked over there. <laughs> he's probably, he's probably so frustrated with all them trucks bobtail parked over there. <laughs> I mean, I can't even imagine. It's frustrating for me. I can't even imagine for people that like, you know, have no idea how the system works, you know, and all they want to do is doggone do some work and drive. That's all they want to do. And I don't blame them, you know, if that's all, if that that's all you want to do, you know, but if it's just, like I said, it's frustrating for me, even though I know I can pretty much pinpoint to what the problem is and I know what's going on with the doggone system and it's fresh and it's still frustrating for me like I said I can't even imagine for anybody else that you know they just like they rely on mechanics or the shops when you gotta do that oh my goodness this uh this emission becomes a nightmare so far since I've been out here in these temperatures in the mid 30s low 30s usually operating around 30s it's been i have regen two times in the past two and a half weeks regen two times and now i got that uh low temps doc doc low temps uh, like i said it could be the internet is saying I, i'm an internet slash facebook mechanic <laughs> The internet is saying it could be the dozer, the seventh injector, clogged up, or it's a DOC temp sensor, like the one of those DOC temp sensors there. So we'll see. We'll uh, we'll mess with the dozer, and then uh, we'll see where that go. What where that takes us. These emission trucks are that sensitive into the cold. Do they not expect us to work in the cold? <laughs> so they like the Canadians. They don't work during the winter i mean i i see a lot of emission trucks over there so do they not work in the winter i'm pretty sure they do <laughs> they probably delete most of their trucks over there i don't know <laughs> or they're probably mostly brand new i mean even a brand new i think these trucks have a lot of issues in the cold the emission trucks i guess this doggone truck is or a car it's also an emission car because the damn thing don't want to start this morning <laughs> Let's just see. Let's just see. I think, I think it has, it's just a battery problem, I'm thinking. As a matter of fact, okay, well, now that's weird. Why, why is, what is that? That looks like some kind of power distribution device of some type. Well, I think there's a culprit right there to get back on the emission trucks you know they keep pushing for these emission trucks on the road but yet there's so there's so many flaws in them and they really don't care that's why I really don't care we're definitely gonna delete this doggone truck and I think it's gonna run better it's gonna do us better in the long run but anyway that's it that's my thoughts on the emission and Hopefully, we can get her going without having to delete right away. I think we can. I think it'll be fine. Uh, 
one of the places that I want to get it take take it to get it deleted is around Arizona area. I don't I haven't uh, found anybody in the Las Vegas area yet, but we'll see. We'll just keep looking. But for now, we'll just try to limp her back home again. I think it'll be fine if I work on that dozer. All right. So let me show you all what I had to do to get this thing to go in correctly. So this thing, it's got that, this stupid thing, it's a lock. It's some kind of proprietary that they make. I guess Chevrolet makes. You can buy them off of Amazon for like 12 bucks for this connection right here. But you gotta wait a few days to do that. Why, why? That makes no sense. Everybody uses that kind. Why did we decide to use this kind, this kind on this side? What up? I tell you what, I'm not paying them. So here's what I did. Drill the hole, drill the hole, put a bolt through, clamp it down. Son of a gun ain't going nowhere. Don't fall for it. Don't pay him. GMC, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because it took these many tools to do a freaking battery. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Enough of that. Enough of GMC. It's time to work on this bad boy. It's obviously been a few days, but today I have been feeling sick for the past few days and no, it's not the Rona. So, but today we're going to be working on her. We're going to actually work on the dozer. We're just going to go ahead and replace the dozer. It's like 300 something dollars for that dozer with that plate, but I think we'll just go ahead and replace it because we got some good contracts with Amazon for next three weeks. Not next three weeks, but February. From February towards the end of February, three weeks total. Damn good contract. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace that so I don't have no hiccups. I want that to go as smooth as possible and just get her done, you know. So we'll work on that. We'll just go ahead and replace that and then check the wiring harness. Open this up. Open this up. Check wiring harness, make sure everything is good to go there on that aspect of it and test her out and make sure she's good to go before we tackle those contracts from, they're actually from Washington. The dozer actually goes right in there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but you don't have to take none of these stuff out but I am going to anyway because I'm gonna take those lines I'm gonna run uh, like some kind of q-tip through them make sure there's no carbon built up in there and then also I'm gonna inspect all the clamps and everything make sure all the clamps are good to go so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and take these off you really don't have to take these off because you can get to it from right there but I'll take them off here's the culprit I don't know hard to tell it looks it looks okay I mean I would say if anything I would say probably the little carbon right there it's really bad maybe at the tip I think that's the actual injector right here oh wow, that's very little such a small I mean it could be full of carbon there that doesn't seem that bad though but we'll change it you see that's what it looks like side by side they don't look that bad I mean it doesn't look that bad it's got I don't know exactly where the hole is on that thing to inject the diesel I'm guessing it's around that little ring so I mean maybe this thing is worn out I don't know doesn't seem that bad Here's something interesting I just found out. So, I believe those are dates. This, the newer one, it says 11 or 210111. The older one says 130418. Now, if those are dates, this definitely is a bad freaking injector. I mean, even if it's not bad, it is time to change that doggone injector. That is insanity. That's factory. 
Another interesting I found out, if you look inside the hole of that injector, there's actually a little filter in there, like a, like a strainer filter. So, that could definitely get clogged up on this one and break it. Also, another thing, when you're doing this, make sure you look in the hole. Make sure there's no clogged in there. And I did stick something in there and there's, there's nothing coming out of there. So, there was no carbon built up that is putting any blockage on there. So, I'm thinking this is definitely a corporate, hopefully. And even if it isn't a factory one, I would say it is time to change that. The reason why I took those things out, look, look how much I can see in there now. Now, I can tell if I have any exhaust leak, so I'm inspecting it, making sure everything is intact the way it should be which everything in here looks freaking amazing I'm so happy nothing looks like it's out of place or anything I got a I got a little leak right there on that uh, I think that's the exhaust oil for the turbo yeah I think that's the exhaust but I don't know it's not that bad it's just moisture a little bit of moisture not bad at all. We can deal with it. Or don't even need to deal with it. Just leave it alone. But when you're putting these things on, like especially that seventh ejector, take your time. Don't don't rush it. Take your time. Finesse it in there. It's just the thread on there is so fine that you just wanna slowly finesse it in and get her in there. Don't be don't be in there just trying to shove it in. <laughs> now Oh, I want to see what this thing looks like inside. Guess what we're getting ready to do. <laughs> this and this <laughs> equals fun. So it looks like it's just a regular needle. This part right here is kind of wore out, so that might be what it is. Yeah, this part right here is way too deep into that. So maybe when when the the pump pushes fluid in there, it's just not opening enough. That's what I'm thinking.